Hello! I'm going to show you some tips and tricks when using this resource as a student. You might have different questions or shapes than me, but that's okay. This is just an example to show you how things work. The shapes are over here on your left. You can change the size of your screen by using the magnifying glass, using the little arrow right next to it, or using the bar down below and moving it up or down. If you really mess up, you can always hit refresh at the top of your toolbar to reload the page and get it back to the regular size. To move the shapes onto your workspace, on a computer you will click and drag. If you're using a tablet, you'll do basically the same thing but instead, tap and drag. There are a lot of shapes in these stacks, so you will probably have some left over after you solve the problem. You can turn shapes by clicking on the shape and using this floating dot above. Let's zoom in so we can see it a little bit better. This floating dot above is what I like to call the doorknob because, well, it turns things just as a doorknob turns to open a door. The other little dots are stretchy dots. They make shapes bigger and smaller. If you make a small mistake, you can use the undo and redo buttons up here at the top. Undo, redo, undo, redo. If you make a really big mistake, Click on the shape that you don't like, then hit delete on your keyboard. If you're using a tablet, click on the shape and then click on it again, and then you would hit the word delete that pops up down below. When you are finished solving your problem, click inside of this box and hit delete on your keyboard to delete these words. Then you can type in your answer. When you're all finished with this question, you will see the baby slides on the side or down below if you're using a tablet, and then you can click on the next slide to answer the next question. I hope that this helped. Good luck and have fun.